Binks here. There is a brand new, enormous card in Marvel Snap, and that is Red Hulk, a 6 energy, 11 power card that says when your opponent ends a turn with unspent energy, plus 4 power if in hand or in play. A couple things to note about this, it will inform your opponent that it's getting plus 4. I think that this was done just because your opponent's getting punished for something that you're doing, so it's pretty fair to let them know uh, once it happens the first time that every subsequent turn that they end turn with extra power, they're going to keep uh, increasing the power of this Red Hulk. Uh, the deck that I built for this, I think is super special. It is called Super Shuri. Uh, so it's guest gaming posted a pretty similar deck. I'm going to post his links down below on Twitter. Uh, I made quite a few adjustments and came up with this deck that flew me up to infinite and was performing really, really well in infinite. Uh, the general idea of this deck is to hopefully get armor down early, and then we use things like Hope Summers and Wave to ramp up our game plan. We also have Ravona that can get discounts on Zola, Blob, as well as Taskmaster, and sometimes Shuri in a pinch. Uh, we also have the Super Giant game plan. Uh, so with Super Giant, if you play it on Hope Summers or you have Ravona down, uh, you can hide a Arnim Zola and then play your Giant card on there in the final turn, uh, kind of giving some misdirection because your opponent's going to think, oh, they played a big card there, I have to play around it. But really, it's an Arnim Zola that's going to move that Giant Power card to the other lanes. Uh, plenty of other lines we can go. We can go like Hope Summers into Shuri, into Red Hulk, which, you know, can be as much as 30 power, and then we can Taskmaster it. Uh, we could do the regular Shuri line with Vision or Red Skull as well uh, to be able to move that power around. Um, just really, really awesome lines that you can find with this deck that I haven't really seen uh, with previous decks in the past. Uh, super, super fun, a pretty technical deck that you can really make your gameplay your own, which is what I think I'm most excited about with it. Uh, so try this deck if you're having trouble getting to infinite. Uh, this was played during Shuri's Lab, but it's actually better outside of Shuri's Lab because people won't play around it. Uh, and I hope you have fun. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. Check down below, make sure you subscribe. Catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace. Thank you. Very nice of you. Uh, now, do we super giant this turn? I don't think so. That vision can hang out middle. Doesn't really matter where he goes, right? As long as it's not right, because he could get destroyed. Uh, I think our play is going to be super giant into Zola middle into Red Hulk middle. Probably going to be our main line. Big card, man. that they got a vision they got a vision right back amazing i kind of want to stay behind i think we just uh super giant left enjoy your echo you peace we do not maintain we do not lose priority uh but it's actually fine right because we're gonna jump right and left we're, we're gonna we're gonna juke them we're gonna juke them out of their shoes Expansion doesn't like me. This isn't too bad. Five to eight. Whatever. I bet they're going to have a Shang-Chi salivating middle. Okay, we didn't want to take priority there. We didn't want to lose priority. Uh, so we'll just go Vision right, and then Red Hulk middle. That'll double, and then go to both lanes. So we lose to, like, a Lyoth middle, if this deck runs a Lyoth. It's a funky deck. Echo, Beast, Falcon, Gladiator. I don't really know what their total game plan is. But I'm gonna guess they throw a Shang-Chi middle, thinking that I have some giant thing there. And then we're gonna we're gonna skirt around. Maybe Vision should have went left. No, I need a right for Martyr. I need a right for Martyr. Wow. Still just not in trouble though. Like so much power output. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Woo-hoo-hoo! Shang-Chi, buddy. So this is what's really cool about the deck. Like, you, you, you have all these different ways to move things around. Um, that that it, it really puts your opponent in a rough spot, in my opinion. Super Giant feels great here. TF Marvel Chops are better than Magic the Gathering Drops. Yeah, like, I, it was something about the Magic the Gathering Drops that just, they, they just didn't hit. I don't know what it was. 
It just didn't. It just didn't hit. It was like missing something. I think we like go here into Red Skull into Taskmaster. Leaving a lot of energy open for me. Plays only to Taskmaster next turn. I can't do anything else. But that's fine. Should be ahead. I doubt this is 19 power. Ooh, they're gonna be ahead. Nah, they, they don't have Sean. We're fine. Tell you what, they're, they're gonna have a lot of shawarmas though. Have some shawarmas out the wazoo. Hmm. Might not work though. We might lose left if that's like Dracula. My thoughts on <laughs> Red Skull so far, Red Hulk in Asterix. I just say their names wrong all the time. It's kind of kind of my thing. Does it set to zero when they respawn? Nope. Uh, it has no target because it can't target anything. Red Shulk. So the first Taskmaster dies while it still has the power, and then both Taskmasters are like, what am I supposed to copy? I don't know what to do with my hands. It actually used to work too because it would look at the old Taskmaster, which died with a bunch of power, and copy that. Decisions, decisions. Back in the right, we should beat. Yeah, we get over top of that. A little close. Cut off one head, two more shall take its place. See this person chirping, man? Why are you so quiet, Lore Angel? Lore Angel, why are you so quiet? Why are you so quiet? You were just chirping. You're going to take six Vibranium in your deck. Ah, they want the Vibranium for Death's Domain. Makes sense. Thank you. What if I just Zola middle? Is theirs going to be eight power? I don't think they can get over this 15. Is theirs going to be eight power? That's the big question. Because mine is going to be eight power. What a gamer. What an, what an absolute gamer. Miss Marvel? Oh no, it's gonna help their two vibraniums. <laughs> World's first Shuri vibranium? Is this a, is this a mirror match? <laughs> what's, what's going on here? <laughs> We got a friggin' mirror match on our hands? 
that's too humble to admit he's the Lisa Nagaib. Doesn't that make it so much more obvious that it is him? Um, just hope they don't have a Lyoth. I think it's just Red Skull. You guys want to see some sick shit, dude? <laughs> you guys ready for this shit? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, God. I love Marvel Snap, dude. I love Marvel Snap so much. There's just so much you can do with this game, dude. There's so much you can do with this game. It's, it's a beautiful... It's, it's beautiful, man! It's so beautiful! It's a... <laughs> Sometimes you just see the lines, man! You just see the lines are just there! You just have to open your mind to see them! Okay, so this is one of the Hope Summer lines. We're gonna go Hope, Shuri, and the Red Skull. Uh, potentially. It depends on how much float they give us. If they give us no float, we, we might change it up. Shuri into Blob. Free hope, but they don't, they don't want to play right anyway, right? So many mirror matches, man. The fact you have Skull and Hulk in the deck makes a commentary riddle. Maybe that's maybe that's the whole point. Yeah. They get a 32 power one, I get a 36 power one. This is what we everybody's a big fan. Now, here the chess match begins. You'd think Hope would be better for them, but the Nakia gave us four points on our vision. This is the chess match. Where do we move? Where do we play? Where do we move? And where do we play? Question as old as time. We can even play around their Shang Chi, which is kind of cool. They move the Nightcrawler yet? I don't think so. I'm just thinking in my head the options. I'll explain them after I make the turn. I don't think Prodigy. It, it appears people know him in chat. I'm guessing he's not a sniper, but let me just ponder silently, and then you'll you'll see the magic. Go all south. It might have like, um, it could have like, uh, I don't know, some kind of like play around this. Yeah, we're just bigger. Dude, that Nakia, like you, you might think, you might think that Nakia was important or the hope was important. I'll tell you which card was important. The damn Nakia, dude. Victory. That Nakia multiplied the one power eight times. To have us <laughs> beat their Taskmaster by eight. I think it's Red Skull now.
We could Red Skull task and then potentially uh, do some other stuff. Thanks, so it said that you would destroy the spammers, not join them. Blob now. No, because if I top deck Red's Red Hulk, I can just play it. Plus Blob is I Blob is at the end of the game no matter what. Ah shit, dude. If they have um Don't they just have free win if they have a life? I don't think this deck would run alive. I do have a free one if they have a life. And with the leader you want to intimidate? Ah, they could have a life. Certainly not out of the question. They could also just have a way to win middle. You're actually a maniac for that? <laughs> it blocked. Victory. Okay, so this, this is the hope line. Uh, we get armor, hope, shuri, red skull, and then we have task to finish. That's why we snapped. I don't think anything they do will overpower us. Uh, if they just play the blade here, which seems somewhat likely... They might play a three though. That'd be even better. Yeah, there's just levels to this, dude. It's like while 40 is is clearly very scary, uh, ours is gonna be 76, which is uh, if you're keeping track at home, 36 more points of power. So now they're probably like, aha! How will they ever win middle? And the answer is that. <laughs> um, now. We do have Pryo. The deck might have Sean. But it definitely looks like a Hella version. Is there a world I consider... Not just Taskmastering? I, I mean, I can't play around you having Sean in your... I feel like I can't play around them having Sean. Yeah, this is one of the best lines of the deck. They, they, like, these four cards in a row? Crazy. Don't want to play yourself? Thank you. Minions to me. Almost. Victory. I think you do just go to. I mean, like if it, it was if it was a full Black Knight version, we'd have to. I'd, I'd probably go left. Honestly, I'd just take the one and three. Let's move to the super giant line. Probably want to destroy this one more time. Yeah, they don't have a way to destroy it one more time, though.
Can't really go Blobzola. My top deck Red Skull, it's really bad. Might just be a Taskmaster line. Probably just a task line. Big blob, man. Let's go for it. <laughs> the Appen? Why aren't they talking this time, chat? You have so much extra time. I think you usually want your power to be mobile. Almost always. Vision Zola, Vision Min. That probably is the line, right? Because then I just have two 16 power visions I can do whatever the hell I want with. And they have no idea where I'm going. Show off the new card back. Uh, what, the infinite one? You have to, you have to get it first. Very important. I do like this line a lot. Then next turn I have two giant visions I can do anything with. So much mobility. What will my opponent ever do? They did push for priority. Ah, no, they just moved the Jeff Middle. Hail Hydra. Ooh, check this out, chat. So they think they're slick. They're doing the She Hulk line. So they, they think they're like goaded with the sauce, right? But Red Skull gets over top of double double She Hulk. So therefore they're trying to do She Hulk and then play 40 points here, but it'll only be 20. If I do, okay. Works out really nicely for us. I should have Taskmaster here. Hmm. I should not have Taskmaster here. I have all my cards. I 
Maybe it's fine. We're gonna add 56 here. I think attacking here is best. I think this is best. In the middle? You're scared that they can get over top of 32 power? I think left is much better. Left or keep it right. I don't, I don't think I would ever put it middle. Like even with Ghost Spider, it's kind of hard, right? Maybe Ghost Spider gets us. Depends on what card they're playing around, right? Hopefully they're like Shang-Chi or something. Oh man, I'm sorry. You almost had me. You might zero brains. <laughs> Oof. Doom rules all. Opponent snapped. Check it out. I mean, they probably have like a lot of counters to what we have. Vision Red and Artem. You think that's a good play? It loses to a two two power card middle. Fifty fifty Arnim Min.
Is there a world like Galactus? You never run Sunspot in a Galactus list, right? That'd be crazy. That that would be crazy. You buffed my Red Skull. Did you click? Yeah, Task Left Zola is the line. I never went strong, so we should be fine there. Ah, it's a freaking devil dinosaur, chat! I don't think they have play any way to play around this, so. I can't imagine they can beat uh, 60 power middle and right. They probably just slam the Red Hulk left and, or slam the Red Hulk middle and hope for the best. I, I actually can't think of a card that could beat us, except for Sean, but they, I mean, they're a ramp deck. There's no way they have Sean. They could Odin leader for zero power. Yeah, they could get zero power with the Odin leader. Probably what it is. All hail Hydra. Sixty-two power, Taskmaster. Are ye worthy? Nice. What a, what a, what a, dude, it's always fun to play a good classic, a very classic ramp deck. Thanks. 